Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel On the menu today, I'm going to make some wonderful scallops or scallops I'm very lucky to get these um, These are Rye Bay scallops from East Sussex in the south of England They're quite famous They're nice and big Nice size Beautifully fresh, I got them today, luckily I've been in the area and found an amazing fishmongers that had them beautifully fresh. This is the actual scallop that you're used to seeing. This here is called the coral, this orange part, which is totally edible if you want. It's slightly fishier tasting. For the recipe I'm going to do today, I'm going to remove them, but totally edible if you want. Some people eat it, some people don't eat it. These are so famous, these guys in this part of the world, well in fact all over the world, that there's actually a scallop week in Rye, which is around, I think, mid to end of February, and all the restaurants in the town get together and do special dishes made of these wonderful scallops, it's very popular. So, if you get a chance, get down and see them, or at least check out their website, I'll leave some details below. Right, let me get on with these, like I say, I'm gonna remove this coral, for the purpose of the dish we're going to make and then we'll get moving so there we go as you can see i've removed the coral which pretty much just comes off in your hands you might need a knife just to sort of touch it a little bit but you know it, they come off so easily now what's really important now we've got our familiar looking scallops is to wash them really well even if they've been cleaned by your fishmonger or taken out the shell which is called to shuck or shucked Still give them a nice rinse, you know, a real nice rinse in some nice cold water, and then we can get them cooking. The secret of scallops is to cook them very quickly and on a very high heat. They go well with anything. You could make curried scallops, Italian, you know, just on and on. You can just keep going. They work really well with Asian food. They work, you know, just anything. They are absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to give them a nice wash. Then we're going to get moving with this recipe. So for this dish of our scallops, we're also going to use, I've got a lovely piece of cod here, nice line caught cod, and I've got some fantastic shrimps there, they're uncooked. I am going to cut them here, just to clean them out a little bit, just to de-vein them. Let's do it. Okay, so let's get started on this wonderful fish dish. In there I've got a touch of oil, I'm using a sunflower oil, and I'm going to start off by adding a little bit of garlic. Like two or three cloves there and some sliced onion. I want to kind of medium heat. Let's go with some black pepper. I'm also going to add a little touch of salt. Then a few powders. Here I've got some chili powder. Half a teaspoon there. This is coriander powder. About one teaspoon. Some turmeric. About one teaspoon. Some dried mint. Half a teaspoon. and a touch of cumin powder, about a teaspoon. So what we're gonna do, get all these flavors together, cook these onions down. Then we're gonna make, we're gonna make a tomato based sauce here by adding, you can either add fresh tomatoes and cook them down, or a can or a tin of tomatoes, entirely up to you. Cook it down. Add some more beautiful flavors in there. And then we're gonna add our shrimp, our cod, and uh, the star of the show, our scallops, in there. And they'll steam, basically, in it. We're not gonna fry the fish or the shrimp. So look, I'll do this. I'll be back in about three or four minutes. Okay, that was just a few minutes. They're softening quite nicely. At this stage, I'm gonna add some tomatoes. 
I'm using a can, or actually a texture pack. Got tomatoes there. Under the mix. Like I said, if you wanted to use fresh tomatoes, go ahead, chop them nice and small, get them in. But then you'll have to cook them down, probably add a little bit of water. That's looking wonderful. I'm also at this stage gonna just grab a little bit. I can get it, I've got some cinnamon here. A nice strands of cinnamon in there, give it a lovely flavour. So you lower the heat now and let's just simmer that for about eight minutes. If it gets too thick just don't be afraid to just put a little bit of water in there which we may do anyway. Keep stirring it. So this is coming along really nicely. I'm really happy with that. I'll just give it a taste. It's fantastic. Now I'm going to add optional a little bit of green chili. Just I've just got two green chilies in there, but like I say, totally optional. Now we're going to go in with our shrimps. I have cleaned them, by the way. If you can see that, I've slit down the side, pulled out the the vein. So just put these on the top. I've cut our cod as well. And our scallops. Just for about two minutes, let's cook that like that. Then we're going to gently turn them over. Very gently turn it over. I'll be back then, it's going to be pretty much done. Just turn these over. As you can see, those shrimps have changed colour. Just the heat of this sauce is going to cook these, it's enough. Same with our scallops, which cook very quickly. They'll be fine in this sauce. Beautiful cod. Wow, this is really smelling beautiful. Okay, now at the last guys, I've got here some chopped cilantro and parsley. Let's just cook that for one more minute and then that is done, believe it or not. You may not think it is, but it will be absolutely cooked. I mean, check your shrimps, you need, you need to get rid of that. For example, you see there that silver or the grey colour, that really has to change and it will. It will go completely pink. Be very gentle with this now because that fish for sure will start to fall apart. This is really wonderful with rice, with couscous, just with bread on its own. Hope you enjoy it. See you again soon. Bye bye.